In regards to our announcement last night regarding the high altitude surveillance balloon, I'm not going to have much new information to provide other than to say that the North American Aerospace Defense Command continues to monitor it closely. While we won't get into specifics in regards to the exact location, I can tell you that the balloon continues to move eastward and is currently over the center of the continental United States. Again, we currently assess that the balloon does not present a military or physical threat to people on the ground at this time and we'll continue to review, uh, excuse me, continue to monitor and review options. First of all, we are aware of the PRC's statement. Um, however, the fact is uh, we know that it's a surveillance balloon, uh, and I'm not going to be able to be more specific than that. Uh, we do know that the balloon has violated U.S. airspace and international law, uh, which is unacceptable. And so we've conveyed this directly to the PRC at multiple levels. Uh, and in terms of specific locations, uh, I'm not going to be able to go into specific locations again, other than to say it's moving eastward at this time. Uh, so the balloon is currently assessed to be at about 60,000 feet. So again, well above uh, the, the range of civilian air traffic or where civilian uh, air traffic would normally fly. Um, uh, certainly aware that there are cameras, uh, you know, civilian owned commercial cameras that could spot this balloon um, in, in terms of um, guidance to folks. Again, this is something that NORAD is closely monitoring. Uh, we do assess at this time that it does not pose a physical threat, as I mentioned, uh, to people on the ground. Uh, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, you said that this is uh, violating our airspace. So why not take it down? Yeah. So, uh, you know, clearly as we assess options um, and considering the, the size of the payload on this, uh, looking at the potential for debris uh, and the impact on civilians on the ground or property damage. Again, uh, running through the, the various factors and looking at uh, in terms of does it pose a potential risk uh, to people while in the air. And right now, as I mentioned, we, we assess that it does not pose a risk to people on the ground as it currently is traversing the continental United States. And so out of an abundance of caution, uh, cognizant of the potential impact to civilians on the ground uh, from a debris field, uh, right now we're going to continue to monitor and review options.